Welcome to the National Weather Service Missoula's Fire Weather Planning Briefing for Sunday, July 31st. Let's take a look at the current satellite over the Pacific Northwest. We've had a large ridge of high pressure over western Montana and north central Idaho for the past several days. You can see here in the uh, satellite image, there's not a whole lot going on as far as clouds and precip for us. We do, though, have some moisture to our south and to our west. Uh, and this ridge that's been over us the past few days will begin to break down this week. So some key points for the upcoming week. The ridge that's been causing high temperatures over the last few days will flatten on Monday. Um, high temperatures will stay pretty, pretty high on Monday, similar to what we've been seeing, but they will moderate slightly after Monday and into this week. Flow will turn westerly aloft. Unstable conditions will open the door for gusty westerly, southwesterly winds each afternoon this week. Drying out on Tuesday will create elevated fire weather conditions for northwest and west central Montana. A similar pattern will happen on Thursday. Some degree of monsoon moisture, especially in the southern part of the forecast area, will bring a chance for thunderstorms, mostly across central Idaho and southwest Montana each afternoon this week. Let's take a look at our max temperatures uh, going into the, the work week. Today, or tomorrow, sorry, Monday's forecast, we're still in the triple digits here in Missoula, down across um, much of uh, North Central Idaho, especially the lower elevations, and some of the uh, some of the lower valleys across the the uh, forecast area. Now on Tuesday, we'll get a cool down, a little bit of a cool down. I mean, we will cool down about 10 degrees. Missoula down into the low 90s, um, down in Riggins, down in the low 90s. Uh, Kalispell gets down into the 80s. So we'll. Uh, We'll see a little bit of a cool down. It's still going to be hot. We'll see a little bit of a cool down, though. Um, heat impacts will, deter will, will moderate. Now, as we get into Tuesday, we'll see another little dry out here. This, uh, this is the minimum humidity for Tuesday. We'll get down into the lower teens in some places, uh, and, and the winds will pick up a little bit, too. So... Here are the forecast winds for Tuesday afternoon. This is uh, surface winds, not uh, not terrible, but definitely a little bit breezy. This is not; these are not gusts; these are sustained winds. So we'll see some uh, some breezy, dry conditions on Tuesday. You know there'll be a chance for some critical fire weather Tuesday afternoon. In addition to fire weather on Tuesday. We'll also see some uh, chances for thunderstorms. This is the thunderstorm outlook from the Storm Prediction Center. The light green is a general thunderstorm, meaning that uh, you'll, there'll be a chance for non-severe storms, bringing some lightning and gusty winds. The biggest threats will be across the southern part of our forecast area in north central Idaho and southwest Montana. This threat will continue throughout the week, so this won't end on Tuesday. We'll still see some chances for thunderstorms in these same areas all the way through Thursday or Friday. Here's a quick summary for the week. The, the uh, high pressure that's been causing our high temperatures will break, begin to break down and flatten out on Monday. Now we'll still see some really hot temps on Monday and along with some dry, windy weather, chances for thunderstorms in Idaho and southwest Montana. On Tuesday, windy and dry conditions will continue across northwest Montana and west central Montana. This will bring a chance for critical fire weather uh, conditions. We'll also see some chances for thunderstorms across Idaho and southwest Montana. On Wednesday, similar thunderstorms in southwest Montana and Idaho uh, windy and dry for northwest Montana and west central Montana. Not quite as windy and dry as on Tuesday, though. Thursday, across northwest Montana, we'll also see another uh, windy, dry day. 
There is an outside chance for critical weather, critical fire weather conditions on Thursday as well, along with some thunderstorms across southwest, west central Montana, and Idaho. And again on Friday, we'll see uh, wide, more widespread chances for thunderstorms with wind across northwest Montana and west central Montana. And that'll do it for the fire weather briefing for this Sunday. The next briefing will take place on Thursday, August 4th. Thank you for listening.